record to the cloud. All right, so we are recording. Um, this is our October team meeting, and we're going to start it off with some shout outs for last month and um, some other shout outs that we're going to go over. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say was you guys killed it for the month of September. And I know I already told you guys that, um, but it's you guys like I don't even know what to say. Okay, literally, you guys blew me away. Um, and you're killing it for the month of October too. So I wanted to shout out top PRV um, and top recruits or everyone that recruited, should I say? I'm gonna have to keep admitting people. I gotta figure out this whole waiting room thing. I don't know why there was a waiting room. Um, okay, so for top PRV, this is for the month of September, okay? This was out of, I definitely got that wrong. There's no way. Hold on, I need to look at something real quick. There's no way that. Just give me one second. Pretty sure I typed the wrong thing. Yeah, I know, I got my numbers mixed up, okay. Okay, so this was out of 168 people, okay? Out of 168 people, um, top PRV was me, Sarah Davis. Sarah had almost 5,000 PRV, or I'm sorry, she did have 5,000 PRV. Um, and then I wanted to shout out, there were a lot of you that had 2,000 and above PRV, which is insane. You guys know that when you hit 2,000, you get paid 30%. Um, so those people are gonna be Brittany Hudson, Courtney Horton, Rachel Bass, Jennifer Cobb, Donna, I see you up here, and Hannah, she's up here too. So that's insane. Um, I know some of you, this was your first $2,000 month. Hannah, I know it was your first. Yeah, month. girl. Was it your first month too? Girl. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> so awesome. I'm so proud of y'all. Paychecks, huh? Yes. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I am gonna go more into paychecks too, and like, um, what I really want you guys to focus on with your paychecks. But, um, top recruits for September. Sarah Davis sponsored four freaking people, four people, and she had 55,000 PRV, which is insane. Like, I don't even know how she does it. Um, I sponsored three people, and then these people sponsored one person, um, Taylor. She's up, she's up here, I see you girl. Alyssa, Marky Overton, Donna, um, Valerie Smith, Patricia Sirino, I hope I said that right, um, and Jen Cobb. So amazing, you guys are killing it. And I also wanted to shout out, is Sarah even on here? I don't think Sarah's even up here. But I wanted to shout Sarah out because she actually earned annual sales. Um, and if you guys don't know what annual sales is, it's when you sell $30,000 in a calendar year, okay? It starts in May and it ends in May, okay? So we're only what, six months in basically? and she's already sold $30,000. Um, I'm super close to hitting it, but I haven't hit it yet. There's only two people in our entire group that have hit it, and it's Sarah Davis and Tori Farrell. Um, Cheyenne McFadder, Courtney Stewart, and I are close to hitting it, but that is insane. So what happens when you, when you reach annual sales is you get a bonus of $1,000. Um, anyone can reach this no matter what your title is so that's something to really strive for if you strive for two thousand dollars a month um you'll get it okay you'll reach that goal so i know a lot of oh sorry there's someone in the waiting room a lot of people don't and she just texted me a lot of people don't um even realize that annual sales and annual mentor are a thing and that's just because since he doesn't really come out and talk about it, I'm not really sure why. Um, I really wish that we had like trackers on our workstation so we could, it could be like right in our face, like boom, this is what you have the opportunity to earn. Um, so that's why I wanted to share with you guys that 
annual mentor is the same thing within that calendar period, May to May, it starts the same time as annual sales. It's when you sponsor a minimum of 14 people in that time frame, and those 14 people reach certified, okay? When um, you will also get bonuses for that. Now those bonuses, the amount, the dollar amount depends on what level um, those people that you sponsored promoted to. So it's not like a specific level. So um, you guys can definitely do that. If you are interested in earning those two awards, I want you to reach out to your sponsor, reach out to me, let us know so we can kind of like get a plan for you guys down, okay? Um, okay, so one of the things, you guys have been killing it, but I did want to bring it up is I love seeing you guys participate on the team page, the 176 Roots page. Um, it really does mean more than you probably think when you're up there just showing how you're working, the how I'm working hashtag, that has probably been the best thing. I don't even know who came up with it. I have no idea, but it's pretty recent in the last couple months. Um, but if you're doing follow-ups, if you're doing fun mail, if you're doing whatever for your business, take a picture of it, screenshot it on your phone, share it to the team page, because whether you think it is worthy of sharing or um, helping someone else, it is. It is, okay? We all learn from each other. I learn from you guys all the time. And we can't learn from each other if we don't know what we're doing, right? I can't learn from you guys if I don't know what you're doing. And we're not mind readers. So I love when you guys take pictures of, even if it's something as simple as a thank you note, take a picture of it and post it. You would be surprised at how many people struggle with wording, okay? So keep showing up on the team page. Um, Right now, I'm in the future, I might have to stop this, but right now we're going to keep it going. But if you have someone who's even the slightest bit interested in this business, add them to the team page, okay? Um, there are security questions on the team page, and they basically say, who added you to the page, and who is your, um, who is your sponsor or potential sponsor? Be sure that if you're adding someone to the page that they know that they have to answer those questions to be admitted onto our page, okay? If they don't answer it, I'm gonna decline them. Um, I'm not the only person that approves people. There's other people up here that approve um, to help me out because I'm only one person. But just make sure if you add someone, say, hey, there's people, um, or there's two questions you have to answer. It's just it's just who added you to the page. Uh, be sure to answer them. and. Um, when you share, when you add someone to the page, shout them out, okay? Take a picture, tag them, shout them out, and do your best to welcome people to the page. Pretend like you're that person, because if you, if someone shouted you out and one person commented, but a hundred people saw it, how, how would that make you feel, you know? Obviously, you're not gonna be able to say welcome to everyone, like we all have, our own lives going on. Not everyone's on social media 24 seven. I hope you're not on social media 24 seven. But if you see someone shout someone out, just comment and say welcome. Have a launch party. Just a, a, just a simple tip, okay? Um, <coughs> and that's about it for the team page. Okay, so news tab. Who is checking their news tab every single day? Raise a hand, raise your hand. If I can see you. Okay, perfect. So if you're new here, news tab is where it's at, okay? News tab is where it's at. That's where updates are going to be released. That's where you're going to find any information that is new in regards to Sensi. okay? Now, if you check the news tab and something, you know, is new that just popped up, please screenshot it and share it to the team page. Because um, a lot of people, some people don't have the opportunity to check it at a certain time. Usually the news tab will update at least Eastern Standard Time right around one o'clock, between one and two. Usually that's usually about the time they update. But if you see something new, screenshot it and share it to the team page, okay? Um, I am going to go over a couple things that are upcoming in the next few months. Um, but news tab is super, super important. 
I, you don't have to check it multiple times a day. I usually check mine right around like two, three o'clock. That way it had time to update. Um, that way I'm not constantly going to the news tab like, ooh, is there gonna be something else released today, okay? Um, okay, commissions, commissions. So a lot of you had your biggest paychecks yet. A lot of you just had your very first paycheck, which is amazing. And I just wanted to tell you guys, um, I want you guys to put money back into your business, okay? You don't have to put your entire check. Um, I usually say 10% minimum put back into your business, whether that's buying thank you cards, um, scent circles, um, sampling products, bags, tissue paper, anything like that. Put 10% back into your business. And then the other thing, which I'm sure you guys have heard me say is, you need to be putting some away for taxes, okay? We get a 1099 at the end of the month. That means that we do not get taxes taken out of our paychecks, okay? Um, a CPA is the best person to ask in regards to this. I'm not a tax professionalist, but I am saying that I've been there where I didn't put the money away until at the end of the year I had to pay money back, okay? So just be sure you're putting money away. That way, if you do owe at the end of the year, you have it, okay? Um, oh, okay, yeah, the other thing, unmute yourselves. Tell me what you guys are doing with your paychecks as like a reward. Y'all want me to call you out? So the last month, a friend of mine started selling Color Street, and I'm not even gonna lie, I've been going kind of crazy with Color Street, spoiling myself just a little bit, just as a little <laughs> treat to myself. <laughs> so have I. Wait, is it Color Street? Are there two different nail companies? I only know Color Street, but Color Street's the one that's like boomed lately. I think that, I think it is Color Street. Are they like $10 for like a set of nails? Yeah. They look like this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Recently bought like literally 15 of those. And I was like, I'm, where I'm not even going to say how many I have. <laughs> I've only used one set. Yeah. But. That's awesome. Yeah. Anyone else doing anything cool with their paychecks? Did you take your family somewhere? Did you go on a shopping spree? Did you, I don't know, pay off credit card? I did this before I got my paycheck, but I told myself I could do it because I got a paycheck. I bought several Christmas warmers. Woo! Like, oh, hey, girl. <laughs> I have any like I, I didn't know Cincy last Christmas like the first Chris the first thing I ever bought Cincy was when you did the package like Christmas gifts last year so I didn't yeah. have You're right yeah I bought one like as a secret Santa gift so yeah oh my god yeah and I put it in that really cute little box with the jingle bells yep yes. forgot that I did that I forgot that that was your first order with me yeah, so I had to stock up. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And hey, guys, there are still, as of yesterday, I didn't have a <laughs> as of yesterday, there were, um, there's still Christmas products up, which is crazy. So definitely take advantage of that with your customers and just say, hey, like, hey, this is still available. Um, I can't tell you, I showed the Christmas tree warmer. Have y'all seen it? <laughs> Beautiful. I showed that on my story yesterday. I had so many people message me wanting it, and I was like, it's sold out. I'm so sorry. I didn't get any extras. But um, that's my goal tomorrow is to take pictures of the products that I got and the ones that are available and just say, hey, like, this is still available. Because, you know, the picture on, the, on your website versus a real life picture, they're totally different totally different. So go live with what you have. And y'all, even if you didn't buy the product, but let's say it's your customer's warmer, unbox it, take your own pictures, go live with it. That's what I'm doing. I didn't buy every Christmas warmer, but I unboxed my mom's and I'm, I'm going to pretend like it's mine for the, for the next hour. So keep that in mind. Okay. All right. So next. Out, Ray Ray. What? Hey girl, I see you. Y'all, that's my niece. Wait, how is your picture like that? I don't know what I, I did. I don't know, I'm moving in her picture. <laughs> hey this Rachel. Is, 
What? I want Adidas for Christmas. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. And I'm, some, and some Cincy scrub. I'm muting me back. <laughs> okay. And some Cincy scrub. Y'all, she loves some Cincy soap. Before Brittany became a consultant, that girl loves some Cincy soap. Okay, so. All right, the incentive. Y'all, we have two and a half months left of the incentive. Okay? You can either earn a trip to Disney or Colorado. Your choice. Let me tell you, it is not too late to earn this incentive. Okay? We have two and a half months. You guys can do it. If you're a brand new consultant, you can do it because guess what? You get huge promotion points. Okay? But the biggest thing about this incentive, if you want to earn it, you can't just earn it with getting sales. You have to grow a team and you have to coach them, okay? Um, so, so far, if you guys didn't know, if you're brand new, there is an incentive tab on your workstation. If you click that, it'll tell you how far away you are. There's a tracker up there, it goes into detail how many points you need for which level. It even gives you kind of like a rundown of what you would need in order to promote, okay? Um, or to earn it, sorry. Okay, so, so far, there's one person in our group. We have over 900 people in our group and we only have one person that has earned level three and that's Tori Farrell. Um, she's earned level three. Courtney Stewart and myself have earned level two so far. And we have multiple level one earners. Um, I'm just gonna shout them out real quick. Sarah Davis, Caitlin Roher, Callan D, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Um, Aaron Brown, Brittany Brinkley, Elena McCrary, and Lucia. So we have multiple earners, but guys, you can do it too, I promise you. I promise you, but you're gonna have to grow a team and you're gonna have to coach them, okay? All right, so we have Christmas coming up super, super quickly. Um, if you've never been with us for Christmas, um, the main thing I want to tell you guys is just to make sure you're front loading for your months for November and December, especially December, okay? Um, front loading is super important. And I also want you guys to be thinking about when you want to personally cut your orders off at least not PWS orders, those aren't really like a huge thing. Cincy will release um, a news tab <clears throat> later on telling you when the cutoff date is to get orders before Christmas. Um, but as a consultant, a lot of us do parties. We have parties shipped to us where we package them and then you, you deliver them, right? So for me, I've been with Cincy for two Christmases. Um, I always cut my orders off where I'm placing orders, delivering orders. I cut my orders off the first week in December. After the first week, I'm not taking any more in-person orders where I have to deliver them. Why? Because anything can happen. And I don't wanna be delivering orders on Christmas Eve. So y'all really think about that, okay? Um, but yeah. First week is usually what I do. Um, now, I have a couple things that I'm gonna just go over with y'all for what's upcoming with Cincy. Um, the NFL warmer redemption has already been going on. So if you had a customer that pre-ordered an NFL warmer back in what, June or July, um, they can now redeem them. They would have gotten an email. So if they haven't gotten an email, they need to check their spam folder or, um, their junk mail, okay? It could have been in there. Literally, all they have to do is click that, redeem it, and go on about their business. Um, the National Hockey League collection, that's releasing on October 15th, which is this Thursday. Sammy, I see you over there super excited. I had a customer, I had a customer message me yesterday and say, um, hey, can you send me pictures of God, I don't even, the capital warmer. And I sent her a picture of um, the warmers that I had. And she said, yeah, that's that's not a cap <laughs> capital warmer. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I need to Google what, what the capitals is. And she was like, yeah, I had no idea either. So anyway, I know nothing about hockey, um, but those are releasing and apparently there's some huge hockey fans out there. 
Samantha being one of them. Um, Bring Back Buddies is also on Thursday, October 15th. So make sure you are sharing that with your customers. Um, one thing that was in the news tab, I honestly, I missed it. You guys might've missed it too. What's really cool, and I think this will definitely help with um, your PRV and your sales, is since he is doing what they're calling an ingredient upgrade, meaning that they are going to start including the ingredients on your PWS. That way, when someone goes to your PWS to order, the ingredients will be right there with, with whatever product they're interested in. That way, they're not messaging you saying, hey, what ingredients are in this product or yada, 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 where you have to go and search it, okay? So within the next, um, they said they were starting it this month. I haven't looked to see if anything has changed on the workstation, but just be aware that that is in process, okay? Um, and that's just so we can have better transparency with our customers, okay? Especially with, I mean, it's 2020, so many people are, you know, into what they're putting into their body. So it only makes sense. Um, October 19th. Don't forget, we have holiday items that were unavailable when October 1st, when the holiday collection released. So those items that are coming on October 19th is the Scentsy Calendar and the Mickey and Minnie Buddies. Um, and then early November, which there's not an actual date, Scentsy will release that once they know for sure, is going to be the Duck the Halls Warmer, the Crystal Mini Warmer, and the Two All of Good Night Warmer. Um, that's early November. Um, the Chic Warmer is currently unavailable. Not sure when that, I don't know if they're gonna bring it back or what exactly they're gonna do with the Chic Warmer, but there were some type of like manufacturer problems with it. Um, I had to return two of mine that I got and a customer had to return hers too because they were, they were completely messed up. Um, so that's why that's not on your website. <coughs> Tomorrow, me and Chloe Cox are doing a social media training. So if you guys are interested in taking your business to the next level, definitely be on there in regards to social media. Um, Chelsea, you have your hand raised. I just saw that. I'm not really sure what that icon means. You have a question? I'm gonna unmute you because I have no idea what a hand raised. I'm assuming you. Have no, a it was from it was from earlier. I was driving and I forgot to turn it down. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I just looked up. I was like, "What does that hand mean?" No, that's from earlier when you were like, "Raise your hand about it." If you check your oh. news tab every day, and I was oh. like, "Wait a minute!" When you said that, I was like, "Oh shoot, that's embarrassing." <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. And I'm. Okay, um, um, <laughs> okay, so do you guys understand what an IPA is, an income producing activity? Yeah, does anyone not? It's totally fine if not. Does anyone need clarification on like what exactly an income producing activity is? No, okay, so basically, it's, it's an activity that's going to make you money. Follow-ups, anything to do with PRV, recruiting, coaching, okay? Um, we always talk about the three legs of success plus the stool itself, um, where you sit, the seat. Um, if you focus, sorry, have y'all been able to hear my dog snoring the whole time? Probably. Um, but if you guys focus on the main legs of the stool, plus the seat. The seat is self-care. If you're not taking care of yourself first, how in the world are you going to be able to run a business? If you're not taking, your, taking care of yourself first, how in the world are you going to be able to take care of your family, to take care of your teammates, to take care of your customers? You can't, okay? Your cup has to be filled first before you can fill up anyone else's cup. So I want you guys to remember that. Lauren Mullish, she runs a lot, okay? She is a runner. I'm not a runner. I fill my cup up in different ways. So it doesn't have to be working out. You can fill your cup up by reading. Taylor, I think you like to read, right? I know you love to read, actually. Um, your cup could be filled by hanging out with your kids, um, taking a bath, um, hanging out with your dogs, such as for me. You know, just fill your cup up, do things that fuel your soul, and then the rest will come. 
Okay, so self-care always comes first. Um, then I want you guys to focus on where are your sales coming from? I really do believe that high sales is going to bring recruits. It's going to um, bring you those relationships that you want to build further, okay? Um, if you're focusing on those, then your business is going to thrive. Um, and then the last thing, oh, hey, okay, so usually every year we do a buddy drive as a team. Um, obviously, we're not all in the same area, so we can kind of like work this out. We can do it in certain areas, um, kind of split it up. But as a group, we usually do a buddy drive, which is where um, we usually start it in November. But we tell our customers, hey, if you buy a buddy, we're going to donate it to a local children's hospital or an orphanage. Um, you, we can kind of vote on like where we want to donate these items, these buddies. Um, and it's a really good incentive for the holidays. Are you guys interested in the buddy drive? Or do you want to do something else? We don't have to do buddies. We could do... Um, women's shelter, um, you can do so many things. Go ahead, Sam. Um, I know a couple of months ago, it might have been last month or the month before, I had posted something on my Instagram story, and one of the dance moms at the dance studio I worked at um, answered back that um, it was a spot. Hold on. It was a, it was a sponsor a a kid and uh, somebody in the hospital a child in the hospital by buying like a blankie buddy or something like that. So um, I had one hit on that, but I mean I like doing stuff like that to like I mean I'm a teacher so yeah. Well, the past few years that we have done, um, we did CHKD in Norfolk. Um, we couldn't. You can't go on the units. I mean, especially now with COVID, you can't. But even in the past, we weren't allowed to go on to the units due to HIPAA and whatnot. Um, but we were able to go into the lobby, drop them off, give them to the nurses or the staff um, and whatnot. We donated, I think the first year we did it, I don't remember last year, the first year we donated like 50 buddies or something. They would keep them on the unit and then they would just give them out to the kids, which was really cool. So if you guys are interested in that, we can definitely do that. Um, if y'all want to do that, we can start it in November. That way it gives us time because usually we want to cut it off probably, probably the first week in December, same thing as the like Christmas orders. And, um, that way we can get them delivered to the hospital. So um, one hospital go ahead. Oh, hold on. I think I lost my husband out. Hold on one second. The one over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who was talking? It was me. All right. Who's me? Paige. Oh, Paige. Paige. Hey. Hey. Um. So is it just like one hospital that we're gonna send it to, or is it hospital where we are, kind of thing? Because no. the reason why I'm asking is because like Pittsburgh has one of the biggest children's hospitals in the country, mm -hmm. um, especially for like cancer kids. And like, I would want to donate to there just because like, I know it's like one of the biggest ones. Yeah. So you, like, you guys can totally pick where you want to donate them. So like Paige, if you want to donate them to that specific hospital, that's perfectly fine. Um, and it's local to you, right? Yeah. So it's, it's like 20 minutes for so, me. Yeah. So we can, we can actually, what I would y'all think of like doing like a competition, like who can sell them as buddies? doing it like a competition like that. Um, and then you can donate them to, if you wanna to donate to an orphanage, you can. If you wanna take it to whatever hospitals near you, we can do that. Are y'all down with, um, with a? Mm -hmm. Over here, this is a long path over here. Sure, I am. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, all right, let's do that. Sometimes the camera angle really gets me. Perfect. Okay. The last thing I wanted to say: Who has been focusing on Cincy Club recently? Oh, Sammy, go Jessica. 
I might have missed a hand. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at all of y'all at once. Um, okay. Hi. I see you waving. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys um, the Sensi Club boxes that I made for my customers, okay? Right after this, I've already typed up an entire post. I've already uploaded all the images and stuff that you guys can download and save yourself if you're interested. Um, but Scentsy Club has been my biggest focus recently in the last couple months. Um, and I've finally grown it to how I like it. Obviously, I'm continuing, continually trying to grow it, but um, I'm finally at a point where I don't, really have to worry about where my sales are coming from. I'm still partying, but I don't have to party as much, okay? So that's why if you're brand new, that's why we always say party, party, party. Partying is going to bring you prospects. It's going to bring you new people into your life. That way you can build relationships with them, okay? Because eventually you're going to get to the point where you don't have to party as much you still have to party because you still want to meet new people. But you don't have to party as much, okay? So my Scentsy Club boxes, I themed them Hocus Pocus. And I want to share with you guys because I'm really excited about them. Um, so literally, they're pretty small boxes. This box is going to cost me like three or four dollars to send, okay? And so it's not that much, but it will add up depending on how club order you have, okay? So, when you open it up, it says, I smell Scentsy, and it has a picture of like the Sanderson sisters. Um, and then, let me like aim this down. And then, this is just tissue paper. I put a little toy spider on top, okay? This shred paper, I repurposed from my Scentsy club boxes, I saved them. The shred paper is expensive. Okay, y'all. We got some candy in here. Some of y'all might think this is a little inappropriate, but my customers are going to love it. This is a miniature airplane bottle of vodka, and attached to it is called Another Glorious Morning Cocktail. Okay, if you're familiar with Hocus Pocus, then you're familiar with that saying. And it literally just has um, a little um, like recipe to make a cocktail, okay? Then um, I did pet shampoo, but I named it um, Thackeray Binks shampoo, okay? And then this is a Winterberry Apple Tea Scentsy Soap. This is still available, so that's why I wanted to sample it to my Scentsy Club people. Because if they love it, they can still go order it. And I did put up there, only available until sold out. But on the back of it, I put a sticker that said Dead Man's Toe. Remember that potion? And then, this is probably my favorite part. Now, the only reason I did these bars of wax is because I, I have so many bars of wax that are just sitting around my house. Why not give them to my customers that are ordering from me all the time? So... I gave them random bars of wax. <laughs> like this isn't even available anymore. This is pistachio ice cream. Um, and the label says black flame candle, except for I, I slash out the candle and I put wax. And then I put um, the little legend says, you know, on a full moon, if the candle's lit by a virgin, yada, yada, yada. So all of these labels or graphics are in the Scentsy Club order. Scentsy Club Drive folder. So right after this, I'm going to upload it to the team page. You guys can click it, save it to your um, to your own computer um, and do what you want with it, okay? Now, this probably cost me together, I don't know exactly, but not much. Um, this airplane bottle was 99 cent. I mean, these samples all together probably cost me I don't know, a dollar, maybe $2. Um, I think the most expensive thing was this bar of wax, but honestly, I had it, I already had it on hand. 
I wasn't going to use it, so why not give it away? Okay, so this is this is like what my Scentsy Club people get every month. Now, the products, obviously, I want you to base it off of how much they spend with you. Okay, if a customer is spending eight dollars with you, are you going to give them a bar of wax? Probably not, but you could still send them the samples and whatnot. Um, so really just judge that off of you. You don't have to put it in a box. You don't have to do all of this extra stuff, but just take care of your customers, okay? Sending them candy and a note card is just as good, I promise you. So do what you can where you are in, in your business, okay? You have to remember I've been doing this much longer than a lot of y'all. So do not compare what you can do financially to what I can do, okay? But uh, please feel free to use those. Um, the other thing that I'm posting the drive to is the follow-up forms that Chloe and Justin Cox created. That way you guys can download them to your computer and you can make them your own, right? Okay? If you're interested, if, if you want to try those systems, okay? Do you guys have any questions? <coughs> and the top, the top says, welcome to the club, which is Tonight we fly. <laughs> Y'all, I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus, so that's why I did an entire box that's themed. Vince thought I was crazy. I was like, you clearly have never seen Hocus Pocus because you don't even understand any of these labels up here. So. All right. Well, that's really all that I had down here. Um, if y'all have any questions, Please unmute yourself, or not even questions. Are you struggling with anything in your business that you want to talk about? I do. Hey, uh, I am having a hard time getting people to want to party. So what are some of your tips or tricks that you have? Can you kind of tell me like how you're going about asking them? I'm asking everybody there. I'm just asking would they like to um, host or would they like to do free products? Yeah. You know, would they like be interested in getting free products and half price? Um, but I'm not really getting much interest. And I had a couple people interested for October, but then they decided they wanted to wait till November. So right now I have one party for oh. October. Yeah. Okay. The other thing I wanted to ask um, how many people have you asked? to party for October, like roughly. Obviously, you're not keeping count, but. Yeah, uh, I haven't asked a lot. Recent, I would say maybe four for the month so far. Okay. I haven't, I haven't got out a lot, but I did last week hit my entire street and the street behind me passing out um, product lists with my information in a sample. And oh. some have, some had um, a monthly brochure, some had the holiday brochure, some might have another brochure that I had on hand, whether it's the body or the cleaning, something like that as well. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to ask more than four people because okay. majority of those people are gonna say no or they're going to ignore you, okay? Um, sure. You're gonna have to, if you want, let's say for example, um, 10%, these are the numbers, 10% of who you ask to party are going to say yes. So if you are, if you are wanting to book eight parties, I, I'll, I'll be honest, um, when I worked full time as a nurse, um, there were times where I literally sat in my car and I would message anywhere from 20 to 30 people at a time to see if they wanted to party. And I would probably get maybe five parties, maybe six parties out of that amount of people that I asked. So you're gonna have to ask more. And with this, with this business, with direct sales, you have to get comfortable with hearing no, because mm -hmm. in order to hear yes, you have to get comfortable with hearing no. Yeah. So that's my advice is you need to ask more people. Now, the other thing is, the relationship building part, mm -hmm. people aren't going to party with you if they don't know, like, and trust you. 
It's kind of the same thing as joining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep working on it. It's okay that people said no. It's okay that people bailed on you. It's okay yeah. that you wanted to reschedule their parties. It happens to me all the time. It happens to all of us. Yeah. Hey, Crystal, I'm not the best at making parties, but I saw somebody post, I think a month ago or so, something about um, if things, if you're looking forward to Thanksgiving, drop your favorite Thanksgiving emoji. Um, and it was like for the chance to win like a free scent circle. Stupid cheap, but it also got me messaging all of them back info about hosting. And I booked six parties just off of one Facebook post. Yeah. I was shocked. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, this works. So, know, just, okay. I'm so it's out of the blue. No idea. Yeah. I saw it somewhere on 176. I was like, I don't know where this is. I don't remember who did it, but it was really good. It was just like, where are all my Halloween people at? Drop your favorite Halloween emoji. And backing off of what Chelsea's saying, have if you offer an incentive, <laughs> sorry, on top of the rewards, a lot of times people will jump at that. Now, in regards to offering an incentive, what you can do for that is, um, let's say that, for example, in the past, I've told people, hey, if you do, if you have a party with me, and try not to use the word party for whatever reason, party like runs people off. I don't know why. But just say like, hey girl, if you get some girls together, whether it's virtually or in the house, um, and you sell $200 worth of product, I will give you a six pack of wax for free on top of your rewards or a mini warmer for free on top of your rewards. That way you're using your perpetual party reward to get them whatever that incentive you offered them for half off. Okay, so if you did a mini warmer, let's say they hit the 200, Always give a minimum. I messed up on that one time and I said, hey, if you do a party with me, I'll give you a free warmer. She sold literally $60 worth and I had to give her a free mini warmer because I did not specify, look, I need to hit the 200, okay? So yeah. I ate that money. But you use a perpetual party reward, you're only paying $10 out of pocket. That $10 is also a tax write off, okay? Now, if you don't have that money to pay the other half of that half off, it's okay. You can offer the incentive as, hey, on top of your rewards, I'll also give you another half off item on top right. of that. Mm -hmm. Which I thought about doing, um, especially for those who I've offered that if someone books from their party, I will offer that host right. a half price item. Okay. Or they're able to get a half price item from the uh, from the person's party that booked from theirs. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just I would I would try to change up your wording. Okay. Um, make it more enticing and make it sound easy. If you like, I don't know what exactly you're sending, but I've had I've done it myself, and I've had other people send me messages like this that are this long. And they're asking me to party, but they just sent me a book to read. Right. You don't and want that. For, the one thing that's turning me off is the book that you just sent me. That's me personally. Now, that might not be for everyone, but that's how I personally feel when someone messages me, hey, do you want to do a party? And also, don't give them too much information right off the bat. You're going to scare them off. I right. always tell my girls, use a one-liner, maybe a two-liner. Two lines, like, mm -hmm. ask, ask, and then once they say yes, then you lead the conversation more. Mm -hmm. I have tried that with, um, that I got that from you, from one of your um, videos. I start with, hey, hope you're doing well, you know, something that's going on with them and ask them if they'd be interested in hosting. Right. You know what I would do? I would say straight up. Now, this is just someone I have some type of relationship with, whether we're best friends or we talk on social media. I would say, hey, girl, are you interested in getting some free and half off Cincy? I like that. Simple as that. Um, the best people to ask are going to be your customers. Hey, girl, I know how much you love Cincy. Are you interested in getting some of your friends to order and you'll get some free and half off? Plus, I'll throw in a mini warmer if you reach this amount in sales. 
Ooh, I like that. I mean, the wording, it takes time, mm -hmm. um, but you have to make them feel comfortable right off the bat versus sending them like an entire book to read where you're telling them all the details. You have to get a minimum of 200. You have to have this many people order. You um, have to, you know, do all these things. Then they're like, oh my God, this sounds like a lot of work. I'm not interested. Yeah. Okay. You can do it. Um, but I will say you have, you got two parties booked from asking four. Is that what you told me? I have one. Okay. You got one party booked from asking four people. That's really good. So I just want you to know that if you only asked four and you booked one, you're already on the right track. You just got to ask more people. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, is anyone else struggling with anything? Taylor? I have a question. Um, so I have a party booked for next week, but this girl is like dragging her feet. Like, I don't know what the situation is, but like she'll respond to my texts like days later. Like, I just don't have a good feeling about it. But the thing is, she approached me about the party. Like I didn't even ask her. She's never ordered from me. Like she basically just said like, oh, I have a new house and I want to get some stuff. Mm -hmm. So like, I was Is like, okay, great. Party? Yeah, it's Facebook. And okay. like, she hasn't even set a time like for the live. Like I've asked her three times. So I'm just kind of like, I don't really know what to do here. Like, I don't want to be like, I'm appreciative that she wants to do a party, but, like, is she even going to show up? Yeah. So, I will say, <laughs> obviously, this is up to y'all, and this might be a little bit, like, it might come off mean to some people, but I used to be that person where if we did a live, I, I wasn't up front with my host and said, hey, if you're not on this live in the first five minutes, like, I'm not doing it. I used to be that person where I would show up to the live, be talking to myself for the next 30, 40 minutes. No one ever shows up. My host never shows up. And I said, you know what? It's not even worth it. It's not worth your time. So now I make it known to my host, like, hey, if you're not on my live video in the first five minutes, I'm ending the video. Because why are you going to waste your time when all of those people she invited, your host invited to the party, they don't know you. They don't know you as the consultant. They know the host. So why would they show up to something when the party host isn't even there? That yeah. would be like, that would literally be like you doing this exact party at her house, but she's not going to be at her house to host the party. Yeah. Well, and I can't even get her to give me, like, to nail down details because I was, like, trying to schedule, you know, the posts in the group or yeah. whatever. But, like, I, I tried – I told her when we first, like, put it on the calendar that she needed to start talking to people about it, not just, like, send them random, you know, whatever. I was like, we've got two weeks or whatever it was. And so I, I, I've asked two different times, like – so have you started talking to people about your party next week? Like, I've gotten no response to that question. Like, I don't know. It's just really strange. So I'm like, do I put myself through? Like, do I just nip this in the bud? Or like, I don't know what to do. What I would personally do is reach out to her one last time and say, you know, hey, your party's coming up. Um, this is what I want you to do. But if you know, if you have other things going on, that's perfectly fine. We can reschedule, but I do have other obligations coming up. So that's why I'm trying to schedule all this out. So I have my ducks in a row. That's what I would personally say. Okay. And just be, you know, just be up front with her because I mean, your time is valuable too, just like hers is. Yeah. And don't, like, don't get it. Don't let this upset you because this has happened to me multiple times. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I had three parties, but, like, I feel like with teaching, I can only do one a week right now. Like, just, that's all I can do. Girl, yeah, no, not even with, I know. I it's, work from home, and I can't do more than one party a week. I've tried that, and it gets overwhelming. Yeah, so I just am, like, 
you know, I might just have to cut the loss on that week, but I don't know. She is causing me more stress. Just, it seems like it's going to be. I would just be up front with her. And that's it. Okay. And if she doesn't reply, then bye. Okay. Especially, I mean, it is kind of weird that if she came to you to party. Yeah. And been, maybe she's having second thoughts. I've had that happen where, like, they get basically, like, cold feet and they get scared for whatever reason. I don't really know what scares them, but then they kind of, like, ghost you. And they, you know, some people just don't know how to, they don't know how to confront the situation, so they just ignore it. Okay. Thank so. you. You're welcome. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hannah said um, she ends parties early due to lack of participation. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten of my parties end up not going anywhere because of no interaction. Yeah, so the host is the primary person um, that has to be engaged. It's very, very rare if a party is successful without an active host, very rare. Um, and by active, I don't mean just active on the team page. They need to be texting their people. Lauren asked me today, should she be following up with the people who are, who are asking questions and saying they wanna order, but they're not ordering or should the host? The host should be the one following up with those people. The only time you follow up with someone is after they order. Okay, that's when you come into play and you follow up, hey, how's your order? This is when it's shipping. Um, then when they get it, you know, is anything broken? Is everything good? Yada, 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 what was your experience? Um, but for the party aspect of it, your host is in charge of that. That is her job because she's the one that knows that person. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's amazing. Crystal said that she had a party that was $600 because her host was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And listen, if you have an amazing host that's killing it with the parties, you need to ask her to join. You need to get her that host to join. You need to get her to join for free. So, all right, y'all. Well, if we don't have any more questions, um, then we're done. Okay, I leave for Mexico on Friday. I will be gone the entire week and I will be back um, the 26th, okay, which is that Monday. Um, there are people who have like signed up for a specific date to post on the team page, just, you know, something income producing. Um, just if you guys would engage and like answer each other's questions, that would be great. But if you do have anything like you know, serious that you need questions on. Support's available, don't forget that. Um, but also utilize the team page, okay? So, that's it, y'all. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys have a good night. And I will post um, the links right after this, okay? Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, Ray, thanks. Bye, you're welcome, thank y'all.